too awesome. Things that are too awesome, too wonderful, too marvelous. On Monday morning, when I, uh, I went to sleep at about 3.30, 3, 4, then at about 6 in the morning, in between sleep and waking up, I had a beautiful sound, a beautiful song while I was in between there. And the atmosphere, even if my eyes were not yet open, was too glorious. I have no words. There are no words to express these things when they happen. So, I remember, while I was enjoying this, this awesomeness, I had the song, and I knew the song. There was an old hymn. Rock of Ages, left for you. Let me hide myself in you. And it was playing so softly, so tenderly. It was, it was, it was like oil. It was, I can't use piercing because it wasn't rough. It was just like oil through my, every bit of my being. And it kept playing. And there were angelic voices. They were singing it. And while I was in that state, still my eyes closed, and I'm in between waking up and sleep. Later on, I, I, I just felt I needed to open my eyes. And when I opened my eyes, there was Jesus. And uh, the cloud that was around him, everything about him, he had this long white robe, and he had a purplish, a purple. What do they call this purple? And he was standing and looking at me, and the majesty. <laughs> I just looked at him, and there was this beautiful sound going on while he's just staring at me and uh, something began to happen. I began to see myself in him. I don't know how I can explain that. I saw, I could literally see myself in him. As he steadily looked at me, I saw I was in him. How I can explain that? I know that by the Spirit you will understand what I am saying. I saw, I was one with him. I was in him. And then, there was this, I don't know whether I can call it, but I saw that it was too late. I was already there in him. And I was as him. And there's nothing that could separate us because my life was his life, his life was my life. And as I just continued staring and I looked. And then I began, I closed my eyes and I began to sing the song again. I sang the song with tears from my eyes. And then I opened my eyes and he was not there. But then I understood something. I understood something in a much greater way than I've ever understood. I am in him. You are in him. And it is too late. Your life is his life. You see. <laughs> Let me tell you, your life is not separate and is dealing with you separately. You're in Him, and everything, everything will deal with you accordingly. Everything will deal with you accordingly, as though it is Him. You look like Him. 
you are things that I fear to measure even here. But I know these things now from the core of my heart. I knew them, but I saw them. And then this morning, I woke up being captured in a place, in a vision. On Monday, it wasn't. It wasn't a vision. It was actually in my bed. This morning, I was taken somewhere on a hilly place that I do not know, but it is somewhere on the earth. And then when I stood there, I looked around and there were flashes of light. And then angels began marching from every corner. I will not add what happened. <laughs> Let me tell you what is happening here. I, I, I pray you never take it for granted. I pray you never, never, never take it for granted. I pray that it is impressed on your heart the divine things that you see and hear and encounter here. That you may know that your life, your life, your life is not the life of the average person out there. You were carried over. You were called, come up here. This is a high place. This is a very high place. Your life is hid with Christ and God here. Your life cannot be ordinary. There is no way, there is no way you can get stuck up in the things that hold up people in bondage. There's a power from on high that is working for you here that dearly loves you, that has guarded you as a hand guards its little ones. You are preserved. You are protected. You keep increasing. Whatever concerns you is his concern. And because it is his concern, right now as I speak to you, it is being answered here now, now, now. Glory to God. The cyber digital landscape is encountering a phenomenon unlike anything ever witnessed. As Prophet Elvis Mbonye, a prophet who operates in the unlimited power of the spirit of prophecy is changing the lives of individuals and nations one prophecy at a time. There's a man, an elderly man. I see you seated in a couch. Your daughter believes this glory you do not. You haven't been breathing well. In the name of Jesus. Go, come, you can join with your daughter. Just sit by and just start breathing. Please respond. In the last week of August 2020, uh, I noticed my dad was very weak. As soon as he sat down, Prophet Elvis Mbonyi mentions a man, an elderly man sitting in a couch. He's sitting next to the daughter who believes in the grace. Prophet mentions, I see you struggling to breathe. I'm like, Dad, you didn't tell me about struggling to breathe. He looks at me also in shock how someone on TV would know. And my father now is totally healed. He's not on medication, he's energetic. He goes to work, he's not complaining of anything, not even shortness of breath. Stream Prophet Elvis Mbonye live online every